Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you how I replaced the four live well pumps on my Triton boat. There are more than this, but I'm only replacing four currently. Um, I'm replacing the old ones with the, the newer model Atwood uh, 500 aerator pump. You can switch out the motor heads um, for these on the older models, but they came out with a newer one where you can't. You have to buy the newer model and install it. So I figured today I'll show you how I did this. And these are the new pumps that I will be installing on the boat. All right, I'm gonna be replacing uh, live well pump. Pumps, plural. Uh, this will be a new process for me, but I figured I'd document see if help any of you guys out. I already took out one that was in there, but there's also another one. So I'm actually gonna end up removing this metal part right here removing that so I can access it better so this is how it's gonna go okay right here I'm just gonna speed up the process but I'm going to be zip tying the connections to my batteries together so I know exactly where my connections go to each battery because as you know in boats wiring is a pain in the butt and I don't want to mix it up so this way I can just easily Put the batteries back in and know exactly where each wire goes. As you can see when I lift this metal shelf up, it exposes both pumps so it's easier to access. So I'm going to have to, I already took that one off, I'm going to have to replace that one. Now right here you just got to remove the hose clamp and pull the hose off. What? Right here each motor has a single set screw that holds the motor in place that you have to take out to unscrew. Just burned. It's burned out. Now, repeat the same process for this one right here. Now to take these two off. The 
come out under here. And right here are these nuts that screw on and off. So you gotta twist these off. And then these should just unscrew out. Well. Got to pull up on them too as you're doing it. This one's not going to budge. Right here, I'm just doing all my electrical work. Um, they're black and brown wires, uh, black negative, brown positive. Um, the connections that I have are 16, 14 gauge. They already have heat shrink already put on them. So you just put them in, crimp them down, use a little heat, and they'll shrink right up, and they're waterproof. Uh, they weren't too expensive at Home Depot when I bought them. It's just a timely process. I also added a little piece of mine and put some electrical tape on it. Right here, check your washers. Make sure they're pushed all the way down in and seated right before spraying them on. Alright, well, after debating this, realizing that, uh, you know, this is all factory stuff in here, and just shoving this down in there, I really didn't trust it. So I'm actually going to put a little silicone. Now after these are tightened, you do want to trim them down with a small hacksaw so you can fit your screens back on them. You don't want them this long, obviously, because it's useless. The rubber was still pretty good, well intact, so I'm actually going to screw this one in. i got to take this off. And yes, I did put silicone on this one. So. This one, I'm just going to screw in, since the rubber was still pretty well there. Oh, that ain't... Well, there's my problem, because if I put this thing on, I can't 
tighten it because it hits the bottom. But if I put it on, it's going to hit my other pump. So I ended up taking this other one out because the other one pushes down in. This one I have to screw down in just because of how the rubber is on whenever they poured this in 2000. I guess it molded to the threads better on this side. So I had to take that other one out, put this on, and then tighten this one down. Then once this is down, this one back down in and then I'll go back underneath and tighten everything back up all right well there's my final result two live well pumps replaced the two larger pumps at the bottom are your village pumps I don't care about those wires. They were like that before, so I just redid them the way they were. Okay, well, I skipped a bunch because this was such a pain in the butt. But in my large live well, obviously, the hookup that's down there in the water was a pain in the ass to get out. Pain in the ass, that white one down there in the water. And it's such a pain in the ass because the original one, which I already took out, was right there, where you see the new one. And it was just, you couldn't get anything in there. And it was a pain in the butt. It's nothing like this one over here that you can just simply pull off, which I already took off. So, skipped a bunch, but it's just a pain in the butt. I ran out of video at the end, but basically it's the same thing as all the other pumps. You put your motor back on, connect your wires, connect your hoses, and you're good to go.